Paul Nelson, self-defense against Paul Nelson. So he's got me behind the, the back and his hands are interlocked around my neck. All of his power comes from being able to drive my head down to the floor. And my arms are in a real weak position when they're stretched out this way against my body. First thing I gotta do is take pressure off of my neck. It can be a miserable, miserable hold if you have no idea how to react. So I don't wanna have my head mashed down like this. I'm just gonna lock my hands together and I just find the back of my hand right against my own forehead, push down a little bit. All I do is I push back whatever pressure he's giving me, I give it right back to him. So at least my head's not getting mashed, okay? Now, secondly, I wanna eventually break this grip. It'll always work better if I react before he gets his hands really, really locked in. But if his hands are locked, basically I, I, I wanna uh, start driving my elbows to my own hips. So I'm gonna drive down this way. You see I had to use a little bit of energy because he was locked in there really good. Ideally, like if I feel like I'm starting to get grabbed or locked up, go ahead and apply it. So yeah, like right here, just keep my elbows down. He's gonna have a hard time getting that, that grip on him. That's ideal. All right, once his elbows, or once his grip is broken and my elbows are down here, there's no pressure on my neck, I can start to escape. I'm gonna reach across and get a hold of his wrist and just glue it to my body. I'm trying to drag it across this way and I wanna reach over and trap his uh, tricep here. All right, so here, what I'm gonna do is just start turning my knee to the ground and I'm just gonna roll over my right side. He's gonna go for a ride and we're gonna land right over there. He's actually gonna roll over the side of his body. This way. All right, so now I threw him. I wanna start walking out at a 90 degree angle the whole time keeping upward pressure on this arm and eventually try to control his head this way, okay? I like to cheat a little and put my hand right here on the inside of my knee. That way I can control his head uh, with one grip. Um, this is a you know, classic hold down in wrestling and judo. Um, we're just gonna practice a little submission here. It's really easy. A lot of times in this position, he's always trying to like go this way with his legs, like try to climb your back and stuff. I'm just gonna hug his knee here, okay? Go right inside of my own thigh and squeeze everything in right here. Just a lot of pressure on his neck. It's basically pushing his head to his chest and, and collapsing his ribs. Let's look at it one more time. If you're not successful with the submission, you still have, like I said, a good position of control on it. So elbows down. If he locks his fingers, you need to at least take this pressure off so you won't be crushing your neck. Okay, next mission is to drive down with your elbows, breaking the grip. Reach across. If he's got a gi, I can get the sleeve. That's great. If that's not available, hug that wrist and control the elbow. Start turning, and I'm just gonna roll across my shoulder. He's gonna land right there. Now, I don't wanna stay in this position and let him keep climbing on top of me. I'm gonna actually turn and walk my legs out 90 degrees while I lift up on that arm, okay? That makes it hard for him to turn into, into my back and control me with uh, back control. This arm is gonna look for his neck, and I turn in here. All right, reach back for his leg. Actually, I want that bottom leg like this. I want both of my knees pointed up, hands cupped in, and I squeeze in with my knees. That's the submission. Okay, let's warm up.